Hey, everybody. Welcome back to My Fat Hands. I don't know why you always do this. Um, I should actually hold them perfectly still so you can see how fat they are. We, we, we keep you on your toes here at My Fat Hands. We zip and we zap and you don't know what's happening. So, <clears throat> so with that being said, in honor of Filbert's appearance here, I'd like to talk about Filbert's favorite program uh, back in the day. And it's actually been renewed. Um, it, it's a show called Ghost Hunters. Um, I myself uh, became extremely addicted to uh, Ghost Hunters. If, you, if you're not familiar with the original Ghost Hunters, uh, it was two guys that were buddies that met at work. And they decided enough of this plumbing crap. We want to go chase people out of the spirit world. And so they, they loaded up uh, all their equipment. And they started going to houses and, uh, and setting up uh, cameras and using experimental equipment, including uh, EMF to record electromagnetic fields and uh, EVPs, electric voice phenomena. And uh, they have infrared sensors and, and seeing the dark sensors and a whole lot of scary music. Uh, <laughs> that, that helped a lot. And um, I, I would watch these episodes over and over. And I mean, I was, I was into it. The catalyst for me not to watch the, sh episode, the show anymore is that they were filming. I remember the episode because they were filming in Seattle in this episode, they're doing the uh, the reveal to, to the customer, to the person who has the, the haunting. And this person on her uh, coffee table in her living room had a statuette or a figurine or something. It was about yay tall. And I don't even remember what the hell it was, but there was something on there. And they were moving one of the cameras that they had set up. And as they moved it, I can't remember if they moved it down or up, but whatever it, what happened was that the silhouette, the image came in as a silhouette in front of the camera. And so it looked like a figure appearing out of nowhere. It looked like, whoop, and all of a sudden there's, there's a figure there, you know, it's like a shadow figure. It's like, oh. and I'm like, wait a second. It's not a shadow figure. That's the figurine she has stuck on her table. And I was like, <laughs> that's it. I'm out. I'm out. I've had enough. I'm done. I, I, I just, you know, I, I can tell you guys just straight at the bat, I'm not a firm believer in uh, life after death. I'm not a firm believer in ghosts. Uh, you know, I, I believe in extraterrestrial life and I believe there may be another, you know, extra dimensional stuff happening, but they ain't humans. Okay. Yeah, so, but um, yeah, so I was, I really got, I was really interested to kind of see what these guys would find. And the, the, the kicker was much like Oak Island every week, we're <laughs> yeah. getting closer to capturing somebody from the supernatural and they never do. <laughs> <It's> like, after, <laughs> but after next four week, years, right. Yeah. But next week, next week. Yeah. And it's just, I was like, okay, I'm out. I'm done. So if you watch that show, <laughs> tell me, I have a couple of questions. So sure. Why they I've, I've only seen a couple of these shows, but they always do their investigations at nighttime. Right. 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 Why? Mm -hmm. If you were living in the spirit, if you were a spirit or something, why would you only come out at night? Like, why would it make a difference if it was daylight or nighttime? Like, not, they, not, not only do they do it at night, but they do it in the dark. Yeah, so that's why? The, they, they turn all the lights off because. Well, okay. Why so would a spirit? The, why would a spirit care? I mean, if the so, light was on, like all right. So I'll I'll I'll, I'll tote the imaginary bag for for the yeah, ghost hunters. For put a minute. it on. Put on the backpack. So, so let me put on my ghost ghost hunters hat. Put here. on your ghost uh, hunter hat. <laughs> why why is it got to be dark? The darkness, I don't understand. I I, I, I honestly I have no idea. I, I think it, you know humans uh, to take my ghost hunter hat off. Humans in general, you know, we have sight, hearing, smell, taste, feel. Those, those are those are our big senses, right? So if you take away one of those, sight, then you're left with the other senses, and you're pretty much you're not going to taste or smell a ghost, I'm assuming. So all of a sudden you're hanging loose, bro. All right, hang loose. I don't know. So all you're left with is your touch and hearing. So what that does is that opens up a broad window to interpret 
any kind of anything. So if you hear a sound, if there's no light to see what it is, you can imagine it's, you know, some, you know, uh, <laughs> 700 year old, uh, you know, Mycenaean warrior that's, you know, that's, has come to, you know, hack and sack to, to, you know, scare Sarah Rosenberg. I, you know, none of it makes any sense. So uh, now the, the only thing that kind of makes sense, if you kind of believe in this stuff, is that the reason why they turn out the lights is that if you have the lights on, that energy can give you a false positive because the spirit world feeds on electricity. A lot of people don't realize that. <laughs> <laughs> if, 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 you, if you like this light bulb right there, if there was if there was a ghost in this room, that light would go dim. Face would appear here. Mm-hmm. Happen, we don't know, we'll have to figure it out. What? And then I would crap my pants and cry like a baby, which mm-hmm. happens uh, anyway. So that's nothing new, but yeah. So, I mean, that's the idea is that you don't want to, you know, get a false reading of false positive reading because you have all this electronic equipment on. But I, 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 I'm with you, I, I'll never, I'll never, <laughs> yeah, but that's what you said they do is they bring a whole, a whole bunch right. of stuff in right. with them, yep, electronic <laughs> stuff so that right. they can interpret anything, yes. <laughs> To be something as opposed to absolutely, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, uh, yeah. So I mean, I, yeah, it's a great question. I don't know why it's always at night. I don't know why it's always in the dark. Mm-hmm. I will tell you that the um, it was Grant was one of the guys, and I can't remember the other guy's name. And um, but the the new one, Ghost Nation, has now it's embarrassing to even say it has incorporated fog machines. <laughs> They incorporate fog machines into the research, and so they lay down a base layer of fog. Well, I could, I understand that if the spirit yeah. moves through the fog, right, 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 yeah, you'll be able to see it. Yeah, or if there's a breeze, <laughs> or or if you want to shoot a Dio video, whatever, you know, yeah. <laughs> it's it's in your set. <laughs> Woo! So, <laughs> All right, say so, valid question. I, I no, I, 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 I don't answer. mean. Look, I can't throw stones because I used to watch a show called Ghost Mine, and mm-hmm. the premise of this show was a mime was, that was a ghost. He no, was, it was a no mine mine. Oh, oh, okay. Right. That was, that was the box. I have to I'm enunciate sorry. better. Yeah, ghost mine. <laughs> and okay. yeah, gotcha. so the, the premise of the show was it was a gold mine. Ooh. I think it was in Northern California, but they weren't ever too. Was it, was it near Oak Island? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Sorry. No, it was on the West Coast somewhere. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, but along the same idea, they actually didn't find a lot of gold. But the premise of the show was there's these miners and then there's these paranormal uh investigators who had a little shanty outside the mine and it had closed circuit tv and they would watch the guys in the mine and then they would discover something and then the paranormal investigators would run in you know and and it was two like beautiful looking people like it was this beauty you know like this handsome guy and this Mm -hmm. hot lady and i think yeah and phil (laughs) burt and uh and I don't know. I watched it for a while, but mostly it was because the lady was really pretty. And right. <laughs> I think that's why I watched the show. <laughs> Kristen Lumen, yeah. that was her name. And, oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Paranormal investigator, Kristen Lumen, and and everybody else. I don't remember. <laughs> so, <laughs> Listen, but yeah, it, but, but they did find um, nothing. But, no. <laughs> but next week, next, but next week, week, but this, next week, <laughs> but the ghosts did not care if it was daytime or nighttime because they yes. were in a mine and it was always dark. Yes. So, and yes. they found spooky and they didn't find anything. All right, everybody. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Uh, I tried some experimental brain surgery during the break there. So I just to put the hat back on. Uh, yeah. So uh, that's it for this week's uh, My Fat Hands. Thank you to all our subscribers. Keep them subscriptions coming. If you wanna, uh, if you wanna give us money through our Patreon, you can't because it doesn't exist. And uh, and we love you guys. And we'll see you next time on. Say my fat hands. On my fat ass. There it is. Bye everybody. <laughs> bye bye.